Welcome to my channel, Kalani Pep Talks, and you are listening to Evelyn. Hercules, the mighty hero, was given his eighth labor. He had to travel to Thrace and capture the famous carnivorous mares of Diomedes, the cruel and barbaric ruler. Hercules gathered his friends, including his nephew Lolas and Abderus, the son of Hermes, to accompany him on his perilous journey. Upon reaching Diomedes' kingdom, Hercules learned about the king's atrocities and his disregard for hospitality, a demand from Zeus. Diomedes and his guards ambushed Hercules and his companions, seeking to eliminate them. But Hercules, with his immense strength, easily defeated the royal guard. Seeking justice for Diomedes' crimes, Hercules took hold of the king and threw him to be devoured by his own mares, now properly fed. As Hercules and his friends returned to their ship, more soldiers appeared, seeking revenge. Hercules asked Abdurus to hold the mares while he and Lolas fought off the soldiers. Hercules emerged victorious, defeating the soldiers once again. However, upon returning to the ship, he discovered that Abdurus had been devoured by the mares. After lamenting the loss of his dear friend, Hercules laid him to rest and made a solemn vow to establish the city of Abdura as a tribute to his memory. In the kingdom of Mycenae, King Eurystheus held a grand ceremony dedicating the mares in honor of the mighty goddess Hera. These remarkable creatures, descendants of the carnivorous mares, possessed extraordinary qualities that set them apart from ordinary horses. Legend has it that the blood of these mares flowed through the veins of Bucephalus, Alexander the Great's horse, which played a significant role in the conquest of almost the entire known. If you like this video, please make sure to subscribe and hit that notification bell so that you don't miss any of my interesting videos.